All right, let's just uh, start with that just concluded address by President Uhuru Kenyatta from State House. President Uhuru Kenyatta just uh, ruled out any pay increase for teachers. Instead, Uhuru has asked the teachers to rethink their stand, and he says Kenyan teachers are better paid than many of the neighboring countries and should not demand ups unsub unsubstantiated pay increments. Some of the things that he said is that uh, 5.68 billion um, of uh, our gross domestic product goes to the, of, of the public sector goes to the public sector. 1.5 percent of our population, 52 percent of our GDP and he talked about the pay increments um, going to 61 percent of our of our gross domestic pro uh, domestic product. We now have uh, ex uh, excerpts of that speech by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Well taken care of in order that they can continue to deliver essential services to the people of this nation. To do that, however, we must manage the public sector in an affordable manner. Two days ago, my government took the unprecedented step of revising term dates for our schools. That was necessitated by the unprotected teacher strike which has disrupted the education of our children. For the last three weeks, millions of our children have stayed home, and when they have gone to school, they have learned little. Teachers have had a protracted dispute with the Teacher Service Commission. The, dis the disruption is familiar because it is, the it is only the latest in a long series of similar troubles. In the last seven years, there have been eight strikes or strike threats timed to be as disruptive as possible in the school calendar. The latest strike, therefore, comes under similar circumstances. In the past, we have lacked a framework to settle these disputes in a structured manner.
Further, the public wage bill accounts for more than 10% of our gross domestic product, well above the middle-income country average of about 5%. All public and state officers, myself included, number approximately 680,000. Just about 1.5% of the entire Kenyan population. It is important to point out that of the Kenya shillings, 1.1 trillion collected in revenue last year Kenya shillings, 568 billion went to pay our wages, meaning that 1.5% of our population consumed 52% of all taxes raised. Our debt our maintenance and our essential public services as well as our development must be paid must be paid for out of the remaining 48 percent fellow kenyans if the award were paid to teachers the salaries and remuneration commission would have no choice and would be forced to harmonize wages across the entire public sector. And based on last year's tax revenue, our wage bill would therefore rise from 52% to 61% of all revenues collected. Fellow Kenyans, the new constitution also set up the Teacher Service Commission as an independent constitutional body to recruit as well as to manage teachers. In the management of teachers, 